levee breach is threatening to flood parts of Highway 37 east of Novato. Novato Creek is rising because of the rain, but so far the water, the water hasn't reached the highway. The CHP says if the water does hit the road, 37 will likely be closed between Athens and Avenue and Highway 101. The Russian River is officially at flood stage and is expected to crest sometime after midnight. The town of Guerneville was already seen flooding in low-lying areas, and that's where Kate's News' Christina Radoni is tonight. How bad is it, Christina? Well, you can see for yourself here, this street is pretty bad. It's one of the low-lying streets. It's called Drake Road here in Guerneville. And you can see as we pan out just how widespread this flooding is. And we're right next to a golf and arcade mini course. You can see the water going right up to the front door over here. And it's areas like this in the low-lying areas that are really seeing the most damage. And we've also seen cars that have been driving through this street all afternoon. That is something you do not want to do on low-lying areas. You should be turning around instead of driving through. But the big concern is the Russian River. As you mentioned, it has officially reached the flood stage as of this morning. And we understand that it's predicted to crest at 36 feet around 1 a.m. Friday. An advisory went out late this afternoon warning people of that. Now, we were driving through Greenville earlier this afternoon. Several streets are closed due to flooding. Some businesses are closed as well. And we also checked out a neighborhood near Mill Court and Sycamore Court. They sit right next to a tributary. That area always floods when there's heavy rain. And this morning, there were uh, people that were being evacuated by canoe. Others stayed behind to help. Woke up to a lot of water, so I ran and started pounding on the doors, waking people up, especially people out here with kids. You know, a lot of people are losing their houses and a lot of their belongings, and it's really sad, and it's a really great community, and it's just sad to see that water can just come and destroy things. The mini golf, for instance, they're every year, every time it rains, really hard it happens, and it's really sad. And this is just the beginning of this. There's the potential for much more damage come Friday. Again, that emergency alert went out around 4 o'clock this afternoon. It's warning people that live along the Russian River and its tributaries to possibly consider evacuating, especially if you live in low-lying areas. Sonoma County officials want people to get out, get to higher ground and safe ground so that they're, uh, they don't have to come in and do uh, rescues and people don't have the threat uh, of, of possibly getting in some very precarious situations if the water does rise very quickly. Again, it's predicted to crest the Russian River at 36 feet, 1 a.m. Friday. And this is already uh, what we've been seeing, just the beginning of it. We'll, of course, keep an eye on it and keep you updated. Frank, Julie. Christina, just to clarify, when you say it's expected to crest at 36 feet, is, is that above flood stage? It is. So right now the Russian River is at flood stage. Flood stage is 32 feet, and that's where we've been at all afternoon. It is expected to go to 36 feet. Um, so yes, that is above flood stage, and people um, in this area are used to uh, these low-lying areas flooding. You can see right behind us trucks like this driving through low-lying areas. Again, that's something you do not want to do because you could get stuck. Even though that's a very um, high-profile vehicle, you really don't want to go through areas like this. All right, Christina Radoni and Gerville tonight. Christina, thank you.